The jury hasn't spent much time in the courtroom this morning. It's day nine of the double murder trial for Alec Murdoch. The disbarred low country attorney is accused of shooting and killing his wife, Maggie, and their youngest son, Paul, in the summer of 2021. Our coverage continues from the Colleton County Courthouse in Walterboro with Ann Miguel. Ann, we've been watching the trial. The jury spent more time in the jury waiting room than in the courtroom so far. Why is that? Well, Katie, that's because the judge is trying to decide just how much of Alec Murdoch's alleged financial crimes the jury should be allowed to hear. So for that reason, they have not been in the courtroom a whole lot this morning. But they did get to hear one witness this morning, and that was about video found on Paul's phone. The judge greeted the jury at 10, 11 a.m. this morning by saying, good morning, it's day nine. The jury then heard from one witness, an employee who works for Snapchat. The state questioned her about that video sent from Paul's phone on the night of the murders. That was video of the dogs that he was taking for a friend. Now, she said that video was uploaded June 7th, 2021 at 739 that night and then sent out at 756. The defense then asked her if she could tell when the video was actually taken. She said no, only when it was uploaded and when it was sent out. That took about 15 minutes. Then the judge excused the jury at 1026 so that he could hear from other witnesses. The judge is trying to determine how much information about Murdoch's alleged financial crimes should be allowed into evidence. The only witness on the stand since that is the accountant for Alec Murdoch's law firm PMPED. Jeannie Seckinger talked about how fees are charged by the partners and then paid out at a bonus at the end of the year among all the partners. She says all fees are to be paid directly to the firm. She says if money goes to a lawyer personally, that is stealing. She says she questioned Alec in May 2021 when it was brought to her attention that Alec was sending money to someone other than the firm. In particular, that money was sent to a company called Forge. She said Alec told her that he was trying to put some money in Maggie's name. He also said he wanted to put about $250,000 into that Forge account as a favor to the head of the company. She continued to talk about how Alec actually got defensive with her when she kept pressing him for proper documentation for certain fees. And then other monies were also noticed to be missing. But she says by that time, Alex's father had died and the murders had occurred. So she says no one in the firm wanted to question Alex. They didn't want to seem as though they were harassing him at that difficult time. So the financial portion is very important to the prosecution's case because those state prosecutors say that's the whole reason that Alec Murdoch allegedly murdered his wife and his son. He was trying to buy himself some time and also trying to deflect attention from his alleged financial crimes. Um, the uh, court is now in a quick break. Uh, Jeannie Seckinger will be back on the stand momentarily. And hopefully by the end of the day, we will learn just how much information the jury will be allowed to hear concerning those alleged financial crimes. Reporting live outside of the Culloden County Courthouse in Walterboro, Ann McGill, Live 5 News.